terraform the moon to transform it into Earth's true twin. All right, let's see what happens. First, I'm going to set the mass of the moon to match that of Earth's. Next, I'm adjusting the moon's rotation to 24 hours. This will change the dynamics of how the moon experiences day and night. Now, let's give the moon an atmosphere. I'll add nitrogen and oxygen to make it breathable. This is a critical step in making the moon potentially habitable, as we need air for any kind of life to survive. Next up, let's add water. Water is essential for life as we know it. Now we have oceans, lakes, and rivers forming on the moon's surface. Now I'm going to add a magnetosphere. With the magnetosphere in place, the moon now has a protective shield. It can keep its atmosphere intact, and its surface is much safer from harmful solar radiation. Now let's fast forward time to see how this world develops. Look at this. The moon is no longer orbiting the Earth. It's moved into its own independent orbit, just like a new planet. This is the final result. The moon now has 71.4% Earth similarity, but only a 0.04% chance of sustaining life due to its unstable atmosphere and lack of geological activity.